بسم الله or استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله and the second two things when we have no choice but to do them تسألون الله الجنة وتعوذون به من النار keep on praying to Allah سبحانه وتعالى to grant you the Jannah and protect you against the hellfire this is the month of getting the Jannah and of protecting ourselves from the hellfire Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talked about the benefit of fasting in many other hadith. Inshallah, we will talk about those in our next sessions. But before I end, I just like to remind of one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That will at least at this time give us the importance of preparing our souls to make the right use of the month of Ramadan. And then inshallah, we can go further ourselves and study more and inshallah next Jum'ah as also we'll talk about the importance of fasting and how to use the month of Ramadan. But let's at least keep this hadith in our mind as we schedule, make our schedules for the month of Ramadan and as we plan for ourselves for the month of Ramadan. And that is the hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came into the masjid and he wanted to give a lecture. Sahaba Ridwanullahi alayhi majma'een are assembled and he goes up on the member. As he stepped on the first step of the member, he said, Ameen, Lord. On the second step, same thing, Ameen. On the third step, Ameen. Sahaba Ridwanullahi Ali Majma'een were Ameen. No one is making any dua, and we don't hear Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam making the dua. Why is he saying Ameen for? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he finished his khutbah, his lecture, he came down, they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, we heard you saying Ameen, what was that Ameen for? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when I was going up on the member, when I stepped on the first step of the member, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam came to me, and he made this dua, Ba'udha man adraka Ramadan, falam yughfar lah. Who to the person? who gets the blessed month of Ramadan and does not get the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even during the month of Ramadan. May that person be cursed and destroyed. And I said, Ameen. So that should be at least our goal, getting the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan. When he stepped on the second one, Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam said, بَعُوذَ مَنْ ذُكِرْتَ عِنْدَهُ فَلَمْ يُصَلِّ عَلَيْكَ would to a person who hears your blessed name, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and does not send blessings on you. I said, Ameen. When I step on the third step of the member, Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam said, بَعُوذَ مَنْ أَدْرَكَ أَبَوَيْهِ الْكِبَرُ أَوْ أَحَدُهُمَا فَلَمْ يُدْخِلَاهُ الْجَنَّةِ Would to a person who witnesses his parents getting into their old age, Either both of them or one of them. And he does not get the Jannah by serving his parents. And I said, Ameen. <coughs> Here we can see the importance of these three things. And at least at this time, we need to look at the importance of getting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness during the month of Ramadan. Inshallah, we'll talk about this and about the reason for fasting 